Welcome to Tech Talk. Thank you for joining us today. Please stay with us. This will be a great show. Thank you once more for joining us on Tech Talk. The show that shows you how to work on electronics. VCR, I mean, I believe it's a Montgomery Ward. Not the best unit, not the best VCR, and surely not the best brand. But that's okay, I'm gonna work on it anyways. No, the customer said there's a tape stuck inside. No, I believe the customer got a little rough with his unit, maybe a little forceful, he pushed the tape inside. No, right here, you can see the tape inside the VCR. The customer, he must have pushed it into hard. That's all I can say. But he told me to remove his tape. He never mentioned his VCR. I'm going to ignore the VCR and go after the tape. Okay. I'm going to do that right now. Okay. As you can see, the tape is stuck in there. No. You can see that the door did not close on the tape when it went in. No. This tape is stuck in. I mean, it is really in there. We're going to have to take the whole machine apart to get the tape out for the guy. That's all I can do. I mean, it's probably his favorite tape. It might even be a rental. You never know. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to apply power to the unit and see what kind of reaction we get when we hit the eject button. Okay, let's do that right now. We're going to reach for the power cord here. Here we got our power cord. Ordinary power cord, we're gonna plug it in. Okay! The clock comes on. There's power there. We also hear a motor running. Now it's stopped. Okay, now our main goal here is to make this light turn off without unplugging it. Okay, we're gonna do that right now with some special tools. Okay, here we have your basic steel bar. This one's really good. I like it a lot. It may even be my favorite. I don't know. It's really good for disassembly. Next, we have your wooden hammer handle. This is lighter. This is smaller than the steel bar, but it's good too. You know, you can use it faster than the steel bar. You know, it's a good tool. Now, as well, we have a, a pickaxe handle. You know, a wooden pickaxe handle. This is a good tool. You know, very long, very... You know, it's a good tool. It allows, you know, very high speed strikes and, you know, wider impact designs, you know, than, than the steel bar or the, the wooden hammer handle. Now, also, we have your common pipe wrench. Now, the pipe wrench is very heavy. It's the heaviest of the swing family. Now, I like the pipe wrench. Not as much as I like the steel bar. Now, the steel bar is smaller. You can use it faster. The pipe wrench is good too. Then, we have your classic machete. The machete is a good tool. The machete works good. I like the machete. Also, we have your bolt cutters. These are a smaller pair, but they're good. Bolt cutters are good. They work good. They're a good tool. Now, we also have another good tool. This is a crock pot. Very good for brain beating. Very good. This is a good tool too. Good tool. Very good tool for brain beating. Okay. We're going to start out with our hammer handle. First, now we want to get this light to go off. That's important. We don't want power in the VCR. We want to take it off. Unplugging the cord. That, that's too hard. We're just gonna 
we're gonna, what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn off this light the easiest way. We're gonna take the power out of the unit. That's a good idea. That's a good choice. We're gonna do that. We're gonna start out with some small strikes here. Hitting is good. Okay, here we go. We still got power there. Still power. Won't take his power out of the way. You, know, you hear the motor running. We don't know why that's doing that. We're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna go for some. some we're, we're, we're gonna hit it in the, in the front of the unit. That's good. It takes longer sometimes. This is a good tool. It works good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with the repair. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna fix this thing. I will get the tape out. Okay, now we're gonna try to gain access to the tape with our drill from above. We're gonna go ahead and do that. It's a good idea. Back out the drill, it seems to be stuck. Okay, there's our first hole. We're gonna go ahead and brush away the, the debris. We'll put it right in there, that's a good little tray area. We need a couple more holes. Okay, that's pretty good. I think those holes will help us.